analyzing Microsoft Excel data, it, it can get messy. But utilizing a built-in AI tool directly within Microsoft Excel, we'll no longer need to create pivot tables from scratch utilize overly complex VLOOKUP formulas to search for information, no more headaches. Just a little bit of AI magic to help us come up with intelligent decisions based on our data. Let's take a look. Open in front of you, I've got an example file that I'm gonna to utilize to show off this analyze data feature. Now I've also made it available for you to download so you can open it up and follow along with me and practice this tool on your own. Now this document is called location sales hyphen zero one and I've made it available as a link in the video description just right down below. Look for the officenoob.com link and from there you can download the file, open it up and follow along with me. And while you're down there, if you enjoy the video, you'll learn something new. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. I appreciate that. And if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel on Microsoft Excel and other Office applications. All right, let's take a look. So inside this workbook, we got a single worksheet called Location Sales, and it's got a simple table in there. It's broken up in data points like a date, a store location, product category, product name, units sold, unit price, total sales, and customer type. Now, looking at this data, whether it's 150 records or it's thousands and tens of thousands of records, there's probably key insight points that you want to know about this data. Well, as an example, perhaps I want to get to know total sales. Give me total sales by the different locations or give me average sale for each location or we got customer type, business or individual. I want to know the average sale for each of those two categories. Where are we selling more at? What's what's the average sale for business versus individual? Right, I need to know that. Uh, I, I want to know trends, a monthly trend. Let's say for a specific product, mobile. Give me a monthly trend for the mobile category over the various months. Sweet, right? I need to know that. Well, in steps, the analyze data tool, we ask it the question, we give it a prompt and it'll bring out some results for us. The initial results kind of get the heavy lifting up front done for us and then we can tweak it. Well, first step, I'm going to click into the list. It doesn't matter where, because the first thing I'm going to do here is convert this list into a proper Excel table. AI tools love tables. They want to know the bounds of the data. Where does it start? Where does it end? Can it increase in size? Does it have headers? So I click into the list, go to my home tab, and about halfway down, there's my format as table. Now I'm gonna grab one, really doesn't matter which one, it's more about formatting at this point. So I like blue, so I'm gonna grab that one. My table is A1 to H152 currently, and it does have headers. I'll hit okay. And my list is now formatted as a proper table. I'll go to my table design, and I'm going to give it a name, TBL, location, sales. I'll hit my enter key. No spaces inside your table names. Cool. All right, next step, now that it's formatted as a proper table, I'll go to my data tab, and three quarters of the way down, we got analyze data. I'm going to give it a click, and it's going to open up the analyze data tab where the AI magic begins. Now, you're going to see a few things in here, and I'm going to remove my head off the screen just to get things nice and clean. So inside Analyze Data, the first thing I have is a prompt where I can ask it some prompts, right? Prompt the AI to analyze the data in this fashion, just using natural language. Hey, give me total sales by customer type. Give me average sales for different store locations, things like that. Down below, they've given me some suggested queries or questions, percentage of total units sold for each product category, insights for total sales. That sounds interesting. We'll come back to that. And then down below, we've got discover insights, essentially suggestions that the AI engine is giving back to us. So here I can see a pivot table broken up by location, further broken up by product name, and then total units sold for each of those locations and different product names. That's pretty cool. 
And if I continue going down, they give me a few charts. I can expand out to show all the discovered results. And they're giving me several different charts that I can pick from. Ooh, these are these look interesting. Let's see, we got product name. Uh, it says iPhone 15 and Samsung, Samsung S24 have noticeably higher total sales. How cool is that? I mean, we've got 150 records here. It could be thousands of records. And right away, the Analyze Data tool is analyzing the data and it's coming up with something that I would never see just looking at the raw hundreds or thousands of records. iPhone 15 and the Samsung S24 have noticeably higher sales. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, now if I find one of these that I like, maybe answers a question that I need to know, my boss needs to know, my team needs to know, all I have to do is select it. Let's say I grab this pivot table one. I'll do insert pivot table. So it's created a new worksheet for me and it's dropped the pivot table right there. So I've got the different locations, I've got the product names and the unit total for each of the locations and those products, all done. Now at this point, it's just a pivot table, right? We can modify it to serve our needs. We can format it, we can make tweaks to it, whatever we need to do, filter it and so on. It's just a pivot table. But the AI through analyzed data did the initial heavy lifting and we can go from there. So I'm gonna jump in and try some other ones. Let's get my head out of here once again. I'll go back to location sales. And again, we've got some discovered insights that the analyzed data tool has found, but maybe there's some specific things that I wanna know about the data. So I'll go back to the top where I got a prompt. Let's say my boss comes to me, they drop this in my lab and say, hey, I need to know what are the top three products by total sales in New York okay, for a specific location. So I'm just gonna drop that into my chat or into the prompt. I'll say, what are the top three products by total sales in New York? Okay, so a specific location, I'll hit my enter key, give it a moment, All right? Top three total sales for a location in New York. There they are, top three total sales. Now, I, I didn't give it any more information than that, but it gave me exactly what I was looking for. And that's nice, but maybe there's, I want the product name as well. And look at that, not what you meant. Try top three product name by total sales for store location. Huh. That sounds a little better. I'll give that a click. All right, and there we go. That's some information I can work with. So iPhone 15, total sales. Samsung S24, total sales. Laptop Pro 15, total sales. Done, right? Did, once again, did the initial heavy lifting for us, and all I need to do is, is insert it. So I'll grab insert pivot table, give it a moment, creates the new worksheet, and I've got my nice little pivot table right there. And Built into the pivot table is we got the filter. So right now we did it by New York, which is great. That's what my boss wanted to know. Well, what if I want to know the other locations? Uh, I, I want to know it for Chicago. Give me that, right? Done. Okay. Created a new worksheet, created the pivot table, and we're done, and we can move from there. So let's try one more here. All right, I'm gonna hop back into the Analyze Data tab. I'm gonna hit the back arrow here. Just give me back to the initial screen. And let's do some trends. Let's see. Show me the monthly trend for, hmm, for a specific category. I'm going to look at my categories here. Let's say for mobile, mobile, uh, of units sold. Okay. So looking at my data, what is it that I need to know from this? I'll hit my enter key. Give it a moment. All right, well, here we go. For product category mobile, customer type individual accounts for the majority of units sold. So a nice little chart in there. I'll hit the insert pivot chart. Again, give it a moment, create the sheet. There's my little chart. The orange there represents the individual and that little, little gray section in there is the business customer type. And I've got the pivot table that's supplying the underlining data for that chart. Again, did the initial heavy lifting for us. All we did is just prompt it or utilize one of the built-in prompts or the discovered results, the insights 
that analyzed data came up with, and it's built it for us. But at this point, we can start to take over. We can do our formatting. We can make the tweaks if we need to. We can cut and paste to create this magic dashboard of all these different pieces. Very cool, right? Really quick. You, you format it as a list, analyze the data, and you're done, right? Pick what you want. Try it out. That's it. Get Microsoft Excel's Analyze Data feature to do the initial heavy lifting for you, which is a simple prompt. Hey, give me total sales by the location. Give me the average sales. Find the trend for the different products across the different months, whatever it might be. Utilizing the built-in AI, get that heavy lifting done. And from there, you can take over and start to manage your data and get quicker to your intelligent business decisions. So download the file and make sure you try this out. If you enjoyed the video, you learned something new, make sure you hit the thumbs up. I appreciate that. And if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week. I'll see you in the next video.